Donegal football is on a high again and star forward and captain Michael Murphy knows how important it is to have the right gear. On a recent visit to Brian McCormick Sports in Letterkenny, he spoke about how Puma products have been his first choice for many years. The last number of years I've been wearing uh, the, the Puma boot and also the Puma gloves, uh, the Puma Finale boot and also the uh, Puma Exec gloves. Very, very comfortable brand. As I say, the boots are, um, you know, find them very, very long last and lovely soft leather, very comfortable. And also, uh, you know, in any pitch and any conditions, you know, they have boots for that. Um, the uh, chatting about the glove, I suppose, again, it's very, very comfortable. And uh, I suppose something with Gaelic gloves uh, nowadays, you know, find them, uh, they aren't that long lasting, but with the Puma glove, you know, it lasts anywhere, you know, up to uh, three, four months, which is a, which is a brilliant, brilliant incentive on a Puma glove. For the team wear range that's uh, out now with Puma, Puma Powercat team wear range which is readily available anywhere, especially here I suppose in Brian McCormick Sports. Um, you know whether that be uh, in here in the shop or buying it over the internet, you know it's they're readily available and again very very comfortable and uh, very stylish wear. Getting the right boots and gloves is vital. You were going out there into the uh, I suppose the heat of championship battle, and uh, you know any wee edge it makes the difference at the end of the day. And I suppose to have a boot which you're comfortable in and confident in uh, is a very very big plus. Uh, I suppose a lot of players find it very difficult to to find a boot, but uh, I've never found that found that problem with Puma. And as I say, with the glove, it's just the exact same thing. Uh, just something which is long lasting in the glove, and also something which is great grip. And uh, I think both them um, Puma products give it to you. And the same again with the team wear. I um, mean, it's stylish, it's nice to wear, and again, it's, um, you know, it's very, very comfortable. Puma King has always been top of the football boot charts among leading GAA players. Puma King and the, and the boot itself has been uh, you know, synonymous with GA right down throughout the years. You know, speaking from a personal level, I remember, I remember heroes of, of yesterday, the likes of Brenda Venna here in Donegal and Mark McHugh, back from the 1992 All-Ireland running team, always wearing Puma King boots and uh, you know, large numbers of them have worn. I mean, if you go around any club team or any county team right throughout uh, Ireland, you know, uh, you know, the Puma King boot or the Puma boot and the brand is, is, is uh, readily available and it's seen everywhere. Murphy feels that the training schedule is going well and is full of praise for manager Jim McGuinness. I have a good personal relationship with Jim and I think he has that with, with all players at the moment. And as I say, I'll him along with Rory Gallagher, uh, you know, they, they have all the traits and all the attributes of great, of great coaches and great managers. But, you know, at the end of the day, at, uh, you can have a great, great manager. But, you know, I think this year more than any other year that we have all the players pulling in the one direction, which is great to see. And as I say, they're getting in behind Jim and Rory and all their ideas. And, you know, we're going out on, on, on the day, you know, trying to, trying to do what they tell us, you know, and do our best for the county. He feels that while in the past Donegal got some criticism, the whole county is now really behind the footballers. Down through the years, the last number of years, the Donegal sides um, have uh, received, you know, a bit of flack, you know, which has been, uh, you know, undeserved maybe in a, in a lot of ways, you know, but it's just unfortunate that it did happen. But I think this year, I suppose that, you know, uh, the whole county, it's like any other county in Ireland, has been craving success, and Donegal is no different like that. So, you know, we're just really trying to repay them back. And as I say, we're, we're trying hard, we're training hard. And, you know, thanks for the years been gone relatively well so far throughout the National League. You know, um, we managed to pick up a number of victories and managed to come away with the trophy there. And as I say, we just tried to regroup again straight away for the Ulster, Ulster Championship. And, you know, we're fortunate enough to come through there and we're delighted to. So, you know, we're, we're never let rest in our laurels by Jim or Rory. And we're, we're back into the, the All Ireland scene. And, you know, as everyone knows, we. Thankfully we came through that, that big game against Kildare and uh, as I say we're, we're into an All-Ireland semi-final now which is it's a challenge we're really, really looking forward to. Recalling the Kildare game, he spoke of the intensity of the occasion and recalled Kevin Cassidy's match-winning score. It was a brilliant game, I suppose the intensity was for real. I suppose I got the chance to maybe to look at the game from the from the sideline, you know, for the for the first uh, twenty minutes, you know, and it was uh, the intensity brought to the game it was brilliant and you know it was a was a, a do or die game for for for, all, for both teams, you know, whatever team lost was uh, was out and whatever team won was progressing to the next round. And I suppose um, you know that carried right throughout the game. And I suppose that uh, Kildare came back, pegged us back in a normal time with uh, three late scores, and we're a bit disappointed heading into extra time. And then Kildare kicked on again, picking over another couple of scores. So 
when you go on to the last, you know, the second period of extra time, it was, uh, as I say again, it was do or die and it was something needed to be done. So, you know, thankfully uh, every player stood up to the plate and uh, as I say, we, we emptied, the, we emptied the whole bench and anybody that came in off the bench, like likes Christy Toy and Eamon McGee, they came in off the bench and you know, not only did they, did they come in off, but they made a significant contribution to the results, so that was uh, very, very pleasing to see. And as I say, uh, you know, cast a score, I went over the bar, you know, a lot of people say how he does not manage to do it, but he's, uh, he's there practicing before and after training on that, on that kick and it was just great to see for it to come off there that day and, and get us over the line. Looking ahead to the Dublin game, he notes that the dubs were very impressive against Tyrone. But everyone is really looking forward to the semi-final and Donegal have been preparing both mentally and physically. 70 minutes away from an All-Ireland final and that's the way to look at it. But it's been, we've been, you know, uh, taking every game right throughout the year, whether that be Mechanic Cup, League or Championship, we've been taking one game at a time, one game as it comes. So it's, a, it's another game, it's against Dublin, who uh, you know, put, really put Tyrone to the, to the sword uh, uh, last week. You know they, they 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 blew them out of the water. So it was uh, you know it was a very very impressive Dublin performance. And as I say, they were knocking over scores everywhere throughout the forward line and throughout midfield. And again, they were very very organised in defence. So we know it's going to be a massive proposition. They'll be playing in their own backyard, I suppose, of Crow Park. And we were fortunate enough to play there a couple of times this year. But uh, it's a challenge we're really really looking forward to and prepare for to the to the best of our ability. He has a big responsibility being captain but is relishing the role and points out that there are a number of leaders within the team. You know, I'm very, very fortunate with the number of players that are, that are in the squad at the moment. There's been a lot of past on the goal captains, you know, and there's brilliant leaders throughout the dressing room. Uh, it's brilliant to have it there. So, you know, I've worked with under Jim last year with under 21s and I suppose we're, we're unfortunate enough not to win all Ireland. And as I say, you know, something on but an unfinished business that I'm hoping to maybe put, put right over the next couple of years and starting really this year. And uh, I was just delighted when Jim when Jim gave me, gave me the nod to do that and it was a great honour and privilege to cap my county and something I'm very, very proud of. And, but as I say, the number of leaders right throughout the, the squad at the moment is, is brilliant and it's growing with every game. The support of the Donegal public is a source of great encouragement to the players and he knows how much the team's success means to them as well. Just going back to the recent game there when we were against Kildare, you know, and when the backs were to the wall in the second period of extra time and, and boys' legs were stuffing up and we knew we needed something to do, you know, the supporters really made a big effort and as I say, they came to Crow Park in numbers and they followed us all, all year in numbers right throughout the league and the championship. And it's just brilliant, you know, Donegal is a mad footballing county and as I say, it's just they're craving success, you know, it's our job maybe to try and, uh, you know, try and give them all the success that's, that, that, that's needed, you know, and try to the best of our ability. So, you know, we're hoping that they're, they're going to uh, turn out in numbers again in Crow Park and uh, in the semi-final, I've no doubt they will, and, uh, you know, bring their colours along with them as, as they have been doing so far in the, in the league, you know, and there's a brilliant buzz right throughout the county, throughout the wee parishes, towns and towns, and it's, uh, it's just brilliant to see. Brian McCormick of Brian McCormick Sports has been a major sponsor of the GAA in Donegal for years. He feels that there is great belief this year in the Donegal team. It's a great time for everybody. Um, the buzz that is experienced at the minute is, is, is pretty unique. Um, I think if there's a big difference this time from 03, I think from winning Ulster this year has given everyone a huge lift and more belief. and. Uh, I think it's uh, it's proven the atmosphere. You can gauge it from the conversation in the shop every day. Uh, it's a quiet belief, but it's a strong belief. He is also full of praise for Donegal captain Michael Murphy. Anyone that knows Michael Murphy will see which is a gentleman that he is. Um, has time for absolutely everybody. Uh, a tremendous um, personality and a great ambassador for Donegal GA. And I just hope that um, he gets his rewards on the big day um, on the field, which I'm sure he will with all his hard work. The importance of getting behind the team on big match days is also vital. It's about uh, getting to Croke Park, maybe getting behind them, and I think that's worth even more shouting them on, and I think they're going to need that uh, when they're in the Croke Park cauldron with the dubs roaring at them, uh, that they need all Donegal people up there shouting them on and roaring their heads off to get behind them. I think that's what they really need. So for all the Donegal GAA merchandise, ranging from jerseys to flags, hats and scarves, get into the spirit of things for the trip to Croke Park. Call into Brian McCormick Sports in Letterkenny or go online to www.bmcsports.ie.
i.e. Oh!